Hello there. Hi. And this is day two and 13th of December 2022. And we're looking again at the Pi Hut 12 Project of Comus. And today we've decided to film in landscape because we felt every tool fight fought us every step of the way. Yep, while editing and doing everything else. In portrait. So today is day two and uh, Phoebe, will you do the honours? Dun, 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 dun. It is cute. We've got what look appears to be diodes and ground sources and resistors on the box design, so it is slightly different from the other. Oh, there we go. Ooh, there are resistors and things in there, right? Ooh. So we have a couple of resistors, some LEDs, I hope those are RGB, they look like it, and some normal cables. So, yep, yeah, so Rainbow I suspect cables. we can use the cables to wire things across the bedboard. They're not RGB LEDs because they've only got two pins. Aww. So they won't be. Okay, so we're on the Pi Hut website, that is thepiehut.com slash advent, mm -hmm. and for day two... Oh, Blinky, we've already done that, didn't we? Well, yeah, but now we get to go multi-Blinky. Let's get Blinky. Oh, yeah, let's get more Blinky. So, LEDs, this has a good explanation of LEDs. So, we get uh, red, amber, and green, so cool. we can do it like traffic lights. Cool, yeah. yeah. We're going to be building on yesterday's code using GPIO to control the LEDs so they'll be on different pins. Important thing to note, long leg, leg is the anode plus and uh -huh. the short leg is the cathode minus. They have a per, uh, polarity, you can't just plug them any which way. So does this mean we'll have to undo some of our old blinky code? Uh, no, we'll just have to change some of it. Um, they require a current limited uh, resistor. Now that, what that means is if we don't have this in, uh, it'll pass too much current and you'll blow the LED. So you've got to have one of these in place as well. Right, of course. Okay. So we've mm -hmm. got the pin map of the Pico. Uh, these are already ha always handy to tell us which pins do what. You are going to build as the Fritzing circuit diagram says. And our old stuff from yesterday. Notice it says the longest leg goes to the right. Now, doesn't, we don't know which colour because these are all clear lensed LEDs, so you don't know which is red, amber or green. Uh, if I get it yellow, green, red, I'm going to be happy with myself. Okay, you get to do the construction. Longest leg goes to right. One row down from the middle. There is only another problem with this, which is that I don't exactly know my lefts and rights. It looks like there's a, a one column gap between them. And we have LEDs, and the next part I'm guessing is resistors. So the resistors go from the short leg to ground. So mm -hmm. what we'll need to do is we'll need to get that paper off. Pop this off. Just form those up. So what I do is I tend to use a nail. Okay, so interesting point of note is that it's supposed to be the other way yeah we oh, no. have wired it that way now but it might make all the further wiring diagrams a bit tricky so, so can we just quickly inverse that okay we have reversed it to match the diagram and now we are going to be able to put the resistors in the right place <laughs> Okay, what is next? I suspect it's the wires, so they'll have, there we go, they've got a diagram. Now these are wow. all big ones. Doesn't matter which colour, but as a general rule, we use the darker colours for ground, so we can choose purple or brown. I'll pick the brown. There we go, and I'll peel that off. Nice. This third pin in here. Okay, you can peel the next. Okay, so that's wired up. I'm guessing let's hold some blinky. Awesome. We're all hooked up, and I guess we need to launch Thonny, not join. Yeah. And is if I hit the stop button here, they get reconnected. Mm -hmm. We will also look to see what they have. So Time module. <laughs> we kind of jumped the gun, did that. Oops. Code imports pin, it imports time. Yeah, it's setting each pin to high, waiting five seconds. Half a second, I'm not going to wait five seconds, goodness. So, you see, we've got LEDs, we call red, amber, and green. They're guaranteed to be wrong. 
You don't and know. we okay, it's going to turn them all on for five seconds and turn them off. So we can go and see if we've got the right one. So let's just call this day two test LEDs. Day two dot test LEDs dot pi. We've got more than one day two thing to go in here. Okay, small box, big day. We're ready to roll. Test this code. Okay, so we've got two lighting and one, one not lighting. Game. Why is he not working? Ah, because. <coughs> I got my order! You know what I said? Uh, if I get it yellow, green, red, I'm gonna be happy with myself. Well, what's wrong with this LED? Let me see. So, we had this in the wrong place. That was sunk right to ground. Oh, it wasn't all the way in either. Oh, wait, why is that in that pin? No, 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 it's in this pin. Oh, oh that was you wired that to ground, okay. That, that was my turn. Okay. Yay. Yay! And I got it in the order I wanted. Fair enough. Right. So, all the LEDs work. Wow. Right. Flashing LEDs. We're going to make them flash. Huh? They can use wire loops. I think we're a step ahead. So, we're going to make LEDs flash ten times, then stop. Mm -hmm. We're using variables to store data. We're going to store where we are. Indenting. So Python, if you've got blocks of code, you want to indent it, which is again something we were doing yesterday. We didn't really have any variables. Yep. So let's have a look. Now we're copying code, but eventually this may take us beyond copying code. So what are we doing? We're setting up the LED names again, setting a counter while it's less than 11, turn them off, on, on, off, on. Okay, so we'd have done one. No, oh, 0.5 seconds. It's exactly the same thing we did, but not. So we'll do what they've said, but then we're going to have a bit of fun. So, Ooh. day two, blinky. If we run this, what happens? There Yay. we go, it's going. Oh, and because it's printing a counter here, <laughs> it's showing the graph for the counter in the uh, Thony plotter. That's quite amusing. It, 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 it but you know what? Just turning one LED on, uh, all the LEDs on, and all the LEDs off. One on and one off at the same time. So but what if I said you, something can, like? Can you put uh, amber, put the value as zero, and then here put it as one? Okay, so we can do that, and that makes amber. Yep, yeah, no, that's good. We'll do this. There we go. See? <laughs> because amber is actually green. Okay, sorry. So yeah, well. let's just um, swap them. Yeah, we swap them in the code. So yeah, amber cool. and green. That's actually twenty. And 19. Oh! Oh no. Now we want the green one to be doing that. Yeah, red and green, no. I've got them still wrong. Uh, swap the 19 and the 18 maybe? That's actually red. Red. There we go. So red and green are on together, amber is off. So we've gone a little off beast, but this is the fun part. What we could also do, okay, we could do this, and then we could do, their comments are no longer quite making sense. No. Uh, oh, oh, okay, yeah, show me, show me, show me. Yay, <laughs> it's Christmas lights, that's what we wanted. Make that 0 0.1 seconds. We have a seasonal thing going on in the house. We all happen to have the seasonal flu. Hooray for the seasonal Whoa! flu. What if you made a 0 0.1 seconds? Yes, we could do that. Yeah, that, that's more Christmas lighty. Very cool. Content. Well, I think we've gone on long enough playing with this. Let's just check if there was any further exercises, because we may have jumped the gun here. Actively, <laughs> three was an LED sequence. Oh. Oh, uh, well, we've done it again. Day two is complete. We okay. jumped the gun because we got creative. Okay. Fine. But, okay, um, that's just flexing. That. Do not disassemble the circuit. We're going to be using it, the contents with the contents in the box, so we'll leave the circuit. Awesome. Um, we'll see you all tomorrow. Um, we'll don't catch you later. Because it's more fun if we don't. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go make stuff and be awesome. Bye.